So this is part five of search engine optimization for micro small business and we've done uh, white, black and grey hat SEO, meta tags and data sets, landing pages, robots, dot text and crawlers. And now we're going to do relevant links and link building. Now this is really <coughs> the crux of or one of the very important parts and aspects of search engine optimization. It really is um, a, a system based on your credibility as a, a source of information for whatever people are looking for and link uh, relevant links and link building is one way to determine by search engines um, how uh, much your information is being searched for and reached. Um, that's not saying very much, so I'll just read it out. Relevant links are links which are not dead and dead ends for search engines, both in terms of content and link building. It's based on the idea that the flow of information should be linked in order to serve relevant content uh, efficiently. It's the basis of page ranking as a system so you know I have this page and 10 pages are the pages linked to it um, but there's another page over here and it's got 11 pages linked to it and um, these 11 pages um, get as much traffic as these 10 pages over here and that does happen or very close numbers we're talking here um, well, the one with the 11 relevant links is going to come up further in, in uh, page ranking uh, simply because it's got more uh, affiliated links, as you might call them, uh, which a search engine considers to be more relevant just from pure numerical aspect. And that's how it works. That's what a ranking system is. If you have a look at... Uh, Places like Alexa.com, which is a website page ranking system, it will tell you this website is ranked number one million out of, I'm not sure how many web pages, but it's in the billions anyway, websites that there are out there. It's where, you know, the ranking happens, like Google's number one, I'm not sure it might be number two, um, and so on and so on. Wikipedia is quite high, Facebook is quite high, all of the big web pages sites are quite high up there and that's largely to do with the amount of content they have because they have lots of relevant links linked back to them people search for information you know click on their links therefore and, and don't come back we've talked about exiting out of uh, your search therefore it's considered more relevant um, the dead ends aspect means uh, if a crawler comes to your page and it can't move any further beyond that page. There's no real exit for it to crawl to. It's become it's come to a dead end. It's considered somewhat inefficient in a process in a comp computational processing kind of way, and it can, um, you know, decrease your score, uh, as well as pages that, you know, dead links, for instance, like 404 not found. That's a big no-no for search engines because it means you haven't optimized. You know, you're wasting the crawler's time basically going to another page, loading it up, finding out there's nothing there. So, <clears throat> uh, how relevant you are depends on your link building as well as your individual content. Uh, the more sites are linked to you, and more popular you are in search, the more popular you are in search uh, re results. Uh, the more relevant your content, the more sites will link to you. Now, this is sometimes where the black hat, white hat, and grey hat SEO come into this area because there are things you can do to try and drive traffic to your sites just for the pure reasons of driving traffic. It's not going to do anything. You're not converting it to anything. Uh, it's no relevant real, relevant information. You're just using them to drive traffic to your site for the purpose of getting more links and therefore uh, be considered more relevant. Um, but that's not how it works, really, your content. 
uh, should be relevant because if the if the links aren't found to be relevant then you will get marked down your page ranking will be considered inefficient really so um it is like i said like in a social networking sort of way like a popularity contest and the way to ensure that um other pages linked to you is through affiliation really there are networks there are people who share links on your website that's quite all right to do particularly if you're from the same industry that's one thing you could um, do called link sharing it's not that popular um people mainly rely on the search engines linking back to them or posts from social media now um or, you know, just bloggers or anybody who offers information, forums, anybody who, you know, if you're known for having relevant content, people will share your information. This is true because one of the things that people use the internet for is sharing information. And if your information is relevant, then you will get shared. And the more shares you get, obviously, the more popular you are. And that can take time to build. It's not necessarily just down to the content. It's down to finding the right people to share you, basically. Um... Yeah, so social media link sharing also counts. Not all posts counts because there are privacy settings to limit that, but a lot do. Uh, and one of the things with uh, interesting statistic from analysis, from analysis is that social media, longer social media posts um, tend to uh, get bumped up in search results because the more content, again, the same with web pages, the more content you have on there on a single page, that's relevant and concise at the same time and a decent size for reading for the search engine to understand what you're saying, at least for the complexity that you're repeating keywords five or six times, then your posts are going to, you know, be considered more relevant because there's more information for crawlers to work out what your post is about. That's the same with web pages. Most important thing to know is that all links count, good and bad, even if you cannot see them or they aren't high in the search results. That's why link building as a strategy is highly recommended, yeah. Um, and it uses relevant links as a uh, means to encourage linking and therefore increase relevancy. That's why I said Alexa. So bad links count, give you a page, bad page score, which can... <sighs> I don't know, but if you if I know Google, they'll take more points off you than give you. There's really no balancing out with Google. If you have a couple of bad uh, links or dead links, it's probably going to take you down more points than some really good relevant links on another page. So really you have to uh, understand the concept of speed and efficiency for a crawler to realize how important it is. That first of all, your pages are correctly formatted. We talked before about meta tags and the HTML aspect. Um, you know, get a HTML va validator. I'll talk about things like that in other videos. But most important to remember is that all uh, links to your site count. This becomes a problem if you've got a lot of older content that people might still be linking to you from about three or four or five years ago and they come to your page and they don't find it. So please keep your links active. Uh, don't delete too much. And certainly, um, even if you have to archive it and you don't have to have links from your existing web page uh, or website to them, as long as those links that you've shared are still there, um, they may still be relevant to a certain uh, degree, it's, we talk about uh, page decay. I think I talk about page decay later on. So if I don't, I'll cover it at some point. All right, so that's relevant links and link building. Next, we're gonna talk about what's relevant in micro business really, as opposed to all of these things you've learned and as concepts, but they're not necessarily um, something you need to apply to a micro business. Okay, so see you in part six. Uh, visit the website. Link somewhere here coming up.